I'm Ron Laporte from Suburban Asphalt, and today we will be discussing the four most common signs of asphalt distress. These are key indications of various characteristics of an asphalt area, including the area's age, use, and the type of repair or maintenance that is recommended. The four most common forms of asphalt distress are surface raveling, cracking, rutting, and of course, the dreaded pothole. Raveling is the loss of fines and aggregate material from the surface of your asphalt. This happens over time with oxidation, traffic wear, and in areas of heavy drainage such as swales. Since raveling is the loss of fines in the surface of the asphalt, it requires a sealant to lock in the fines and reintroduce oil back into the asphalt. Seal coat is the best way to do this. When done on a consistent basis, raveling can be minimized and the surface of your asphalt protected. Rutting is a great indication of unstable base below the asphalt. It can also happen over time in areas under the wheels of a car or places of constant stress like a dumpster enclosure. The best method to solve this is to remove the asphalt and underlying stone to a depth of stability and replace with suitable material. The depth of removal varies based on the existing condition of the soil below the stone and asphalt. Cracking is normal and should be expected, especially along paving joints. This is asphalt's way of making its own control joints, much like you see in concrete, allowing stresses to expand and contract. Water must be prevented to entering the sub-base below the asphalt by regularly sealing cracks. The picture shown here refers to a form of cracking known as alligator cracking because of its resemblance to the back of an alligator. Once asphalt reaches that point, there's very little maintenance that can be done. It is of utmost importance to regularly seal cracks as they occur. Potholes are often what happens when maintenance is not performed. This is an indication that the asphalt has failed. What started as one crack led to several, which led to even more, which led to even more, which led to alligator cracking, which led to asphalt segments popping out and revealing a pothole. Repair is imminent for potholes. While temporary solutions such as pothole patching or skin patching can be done, they do not fully repair the pothole. Replacement of a large enough area that includes all the cracks surrounding the pothole is the best solution. Well, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed our session today on the four most common forms of asphalt distress. Stay tuned for more suburban solutions and feel free to comment below. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you soon.